Hi friends, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you for being here. I'm going to be making some focal point scene cards with you today. And a focal point scene card is simply a card that features a scene as its main visual element. The scenes I'm making will be contained inside of a shape, and in this case, my scene will be contained inside of a circle. But you can use any shape such as a square, a rectangle, and even an oval. The circle focal point is designed to draw in your attention and it serves as the central highlight of the card. The theme of my cards today will be for first responders and I'll be using some new products from Pretty Pink Posh's latest release. So let's take a look at the products here. This stamp set is the Helper Vehicles stamp set. It has an ambulance, there's also a police car and a fire truck. There is a stop sign, there's a fire hose and some fire stamps, there's a dog with a firefighter's helmet, a fire hydrant, a fire extinguisher, and some sentiments that say thanks for saving the day, you're my hero, and sound the alarm. There's also another one on the left that says all fired up. I'll be using the coordinating dies after I color those stamps, and I'll also be using the city building dies. You can see this is a strip of six buildings and there's also a die there that you can create a road. I'll be bringing in some other supplies along the way and if you are interested in finding out more there will be a link down in the description box to my coordinating blog post as well as to all of the supplies that I use in this video. So I'm starting out by working on the city building dies. There's two dies in that set that create the buildings. You have the shadow layer that I die cut out in a light cream color cardstock, and then you have the layering piece that goes on top with all of the window cutouts, and that I cut out of light gray cardstock. So here I am just using some of my gray inks to ink up the edges just to give these buildings some more depth. And once I'm finished with that, I will then take that die cut piece and I'll be layering it on to the shadow layer. So you'll be able to see the cream color cardstock through all of those windows. So for the second building from the left, I die cut that one out of some red cardstock. And again, just adding some red ink here. It cuts out the building and also the strips inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna piece in these red pieces to that single building. So next I just cut off the top of that red roof because I'm going to piece it back in on top of the gray building. So I'm just trimming this down and then I will glue it to the gray die cut piece. I'm going to repeat this process with the third building from the left. I just die cut the roof line out of some blue cardstock and I'm going to cut it so that it is pretty straight and then I'm going to glue it down to the roof of the third building. Next, I will add my glue to the back of the buildings and I will add this to the solid shadow layer. I'm also going to piece in those red strips on the second building from the left. You can leave it as a long strip of six buildings if you wanted to, but I'm going to trim this down so that I have two buildings in each set. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not going to put it across the length of a card. I'm actually going to group these inside of a circle onto my card and it will also allow me to create more than one card with this entire strip. So next I'm going to work on my road. I have a piece of gray cardstock which I die cut the shape of the road. And then you have this thin die which actually cuts out all of these little pieces for the lines in the road. Now I don't want to have to sit there and glue each one of these lines on the center of this gray road. So instead of doing that, because that will take some time to, to try to get those straight, I'm going to instead take that die that cuts out those little lines and I'm going to tape it down to the center of the gray 
road that I die cut and then I'll run that through my die cutting machine and it's going to pop all of those lines out of the road die cut piece but I also die cut another one out of the white so I'll just layer the white cardstock in back of the gray cardstock so you can see those white lines through. So now I'm just taking some really dark gray ink and I'm just inking up the edges of this cardstock because I do want this to look like a black road. I don't want it to be gray, but I also wanted it to have a little bit of shadow. So if I were just to take some black cardstock and try to ink up the edges, I'm not really gonna create any depth or dimension because it's really hard to see black ink on black cardstock. So instead, I'm just using some dark gray cardstock with some black ink and I'm just going over the edges just to get me a darker color on the outside with the lighter color on the inside so I'm really concentrating my ink along the edges of that die cut piece and then just blending it in so you can see what that looks like once I'm finished so next I'm going to go ahead and glue that piece to the white cardstock so I want to have some grass or a little hill behind my road. So I'm taking a green piece of cardstock. I want to make sure that it is the length of the road. And I'm just using my scissors to cut this green cardstock in the shape of a little hill. And then I'm going to use my inks to add some ink to give this some depth. And I'm using the Distress Oxide Mode Lawn ink around the edges. Next I'm going to come in with a darker ink and I'm just going to add a little bit of the darker ink onto that cardstock and I'm just tapping down with my finger dauber and then I'll blend that in with the Distress Oxide Mode Lawn just to give this a little bit more depth. Adding a little bit of that darker ink just adds more depth to that piece. Next I'm going to color my stamped images. I'm making two cards today. One is going to be with the ambulance and the other is going to be with the police car. I'm going to be using the stop sign with the police car and I thought about using that little dog with the medical bag but I ended up not even having room for it but I will show you the coloring nevertheless. And I am using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to color this up and I did stamp this down onto my scrapbook.com mixed media heavyweight white cardstock. I like using that cardstock um, when I'm coloring with my Zig markers. I tend to switch between this cardstock and the Bristol Smooth cardstock. Both work really nice with blending of these watercolor markers. So if you're interested in a list of the colors that I'm using on these stamps, I will have them listed on my blog, so be sure to check out the coordinating blog post link in the description box below. I also want to mention that these cards are part of a Pretty Pink Posh Instagram hop where you have the chance to win a gift certificate to the Pretty Pink Posh store. So if you are interested in participating in that hop, I will have a link down in the description box to my Instagram. You can also just head over to Instagram and type in Lisa Mears Designs and find my Instagram post with these cards and you'll find more information over there. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to music and let you finish watching my coloring and I'll be back at timestamp 1107.
So I'm going to take out the first two buildings. I am using a black sharpie just to add the cross to the top of that building so that it is representative of a hospital. So next I am placing the road with the green hill, I'm placing those together along with the building and the ambulance, making sure that I have enough room in here for all of these die cut pieces. I am using a circle die. I want to make sure the circle die I'm using is big enough for holding these pieces because I'm just going to make a little scene within this circle. So once I have it exactly how I want it, I'll use a piece of mint tape to hold the circle die down to the road and the hill and I'll run that through my die cutting machine. And then this is what I'm left with, part of that hill and the road. I'm going to go ahead and glue the road onto that hillside. And I have enough room from those leftover pieces to die cut another one for my police car. So I'm just going to do the same thing here and line up the road with the hill. And I actually had to switch to a smaller circle die for this one because I didn't have a big enough piece for the hill and the road to accommodate that larger circle that I used in the, for the ambulance. Okay, so here I'm going to go ahead and glue that road onto the hill. Now it's okay that above the hill it's not a complete circle because I'm going to fix that in just a few minutes. Right now I just need to get this road glued on to the bottom of this hillside. And then I'm going to take those same circle dies that I used to cut those pieces out and I'm going to die cut white cardstock. And with that white cardstock, I'm going to add some ink to the top to represent the sky. Now, if you wanted to, obviously, you can die cut blue cardstock and not worry about inking it up. But I just did it with the white cardstock and just adding some of the tumbled glass. And then I'm going to bring in some of the broken china along the edge just to add a little bit more depth to my sky. And then I'm going to blend it a little bit better with the tumbled glass, which is the lighter blue ink. Okay, so now I can take these die cut pieces and add them to my circle. So I'll add the hill with the road to the circles. Just make sure you line it up so that it fits that blue circle. And do the same thing with the second one. And then I'm going to glue the buildings to the scene. And then I'll glue down the police car with the stop sign and then I'll glue down the ambulance on the other one. So for my card background, I want a starburst pattern. So I'm bringing in Pretty Pink Posh's starburst stencil, and I'm going to stencil this onto some yellow cardstock using two different color inks. I'm using the mustard seed as well as the dried marigold, and I'm putting the dried marigold, which is a light orange, at the center of that starburst. And then after I ink that, I'm going to come in with the mustard seed along the edges where the dried marigold left off and all the way to the end of that cardstock. I'll come back in with the dried marigold and just blend together where the mustard seed and the dried marigold meet. And then I'll go ahead and remove that stencil and I'm going to ink up the edges of that piece of cardstock with the mustard seed ink just to add some more depth along the edges. And I'm going to make two of these backgrounds because I will be making two cards. So this sunburst background is cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm adding the scene to the center. I also stamped and die cut two small clouds these clouds are from the Pretty Pink Posh 
hugs stamp set and they're just the right size to add to this cute little scene. So before I add those clouds because I want to pop those up with some foam I am going to add my sentiment here. So I'm just putting that entire panel into my MISTI and I'm going to stamp out a sentiment in the lower right hand corner. So the sentiment says you're my hero and then I'll go ahead and remove that from the MISTI and pop some foam up on the back side of those clouds and then add them to my scene. So after adding the clouds, I will put that layer onto an A2 size white card base. You can see how the sunburst background really draws your eye into the circle, creating a focal point for the cards. This is such a fun way to create little scenes on your cards. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in any of the supplies that I used today, check the description box of this YouTube video for product links. And lastly, if you like videos like this and want to see more, make sure you click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.